What's up everyone? Welcome back and thank you for stopping in. Today I have an exciting video planned for you guys. This is going to be covering my Benchmade collection. Before we hop into the collection video, if you like knife content, you like EDC content, gear reviews, you are in the right spot. Make sure you are subscribed. If you are not, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you here. Before you head out, give the video a thumbs up leave a comment down below. It really helps the video, the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. I love chatting with you guys down in the comments. We'll go ahead and get started. Now, I've already done this video once before, but I went off on like a 10 minute long tangent, and I'm trying not to do that so much anymore. Some videos, yeah, but I'm trying not to do that. Uh, but we'll start it off with the Benchmade bug out and the tangent I went off on was this knife. Uh, I went into the backstory. This is the knife that set me into the path I'm on now. I wouldn't be here making this video. I wouldn't have the knife collection I have uh, if it wasn't for this knife. A couple years back, I was looking for a do-it-all knife, American made something that I could keep forever pretty much because I wasn't planning on buying a bunch of knives. Uh, a buck 110 in my card on S30V I bought previously and I was just looking for something a little different, maybe a different lock with a different steel, you know, and not that I knew anything about any of the steels or anything like that back then. And it just so happened that this was on sale, I think at Blade HQ for like 200 bucks. Now this was a couple years back and I happened to pick it up and love everything about this knife. And I just wanted to know more. I wanted to try more steels, more handle materials, more companies. And that's basically the idea I still am following to this day. So I have the Benchmade bug out to thank for that. This is the S90V and the carbon fiber version. This is my favorite bug out in this form that is not a custom shop uh, choice. Uh, absolutely love the S90V on here. Love the carbon fiber scales. They are just so well done. Love the blue backspacer, the blue thumb studs. Just a great looking knife. It's a great weight. It's a great size. Uh, I'm not a Benchmade fanboy by any means, but I will say when something is good or great, and this is definitely great. Uh, I have never once had an issue with this knife. Everything, the blade came sharp, uh, the handles, are beautiful and everything's rounded and soft uh, the edge came great the action is great uh, just absolutely a home run from Benchmade now they are quite a bit more expensive nowadays especially at full retail price uh, so I am definitely glad I got this one I did but little did I know that knife was going to send me down a crazy, crazy path. So that is the S90V Benchmade bug out. We might as well go along and hit its older brother here. This is the Benchmade Osborne, the 940. This one is also coming in S90V and that same carbon fiber i love this knife so much i was like man i might as well get the osborne with s90 and the carbon fiber as well uh and i i don't love this knife as much as the bug out it doesn't mean as much to me as the bug out does but I do absolutely love the Osborne, especially in these materials. S90V is one of my, probably my, it's definitely in the top two or three of my all-time favorite steels. Uh, S90V is a great, great steel. 
Uh, and then the carbon fiber is just beautiful. Uh, this one has incredible action. This one, the edge didn't come razor sharp, but it came, you know, it had a good working edge on it. Uh, definitely could have used a stropping or a little touch up, but just fine, easy to fix. It's still good to go. Uh, I threw an aftermarket clip on here. I think this is from MXG Gear or Lynch. I'm not 100% sure where I got that one at, but uh, it is an aftermarket clip. Aftermarket thumb studs from Flytanium. So I did do a little switcheroo on this knife, but uh, these two knives I absolutely love. Uh, the, the bug out tends to I take very extra good care of the bug out. It means a great deal to me, uh, you know, for all the reasons I mentioned before. Now, I do still carry it. I do still use it. But I, I make sure that I am not going to ruin the knife or damage the knife. And I could do that on a daily basis uh, with what I do for work. So I take extremely good care of my bug out uh, just for sentimental reasons. Uh, in the last video I recorded, I said, well, I forget what I said, but it didn't make any sense. And that's when I realized I was going off on a crazy story. At this time, seven minutes into the video, I was still rambling on about the bug out. So, we'll go to the hardest hitting Benchmade that I have. This is the Benchmade full size Griptilian. Uh, this is an outstanding, outstanding work knife, outstanding EDC knife. Uh, I won't mind someday getting the sheep's foot version of it as well, but when I got this knife uh, and opened it up, it came just like this. Uh, it just thwacks out here, up by the microphone. Woo. It's just, it thwacks out of there. The action is great. The access to the lock is great, just like the Osborne and the bug out. Uh, this one, I did also throw some Flytanium studs on it just to give it a little splash. I even thought I might change the pocket clip on it at some point in time. Uh, not a huge rush though, because I do like how the clip works. I just don't like it as far as aesthetics goes, but it works very, very good. Easy in and out of the pocket. It's, uh, you know, and it's not, it's blacked out. So it's not, you know, an eyesore. It just, you know, I could picture this with maybe a all blue something. An all blue clip maybe that matches the studs or something of that nature. But this has the S30V steel and Benchmade's S30V. Now this is the only one I have, but I'm assuming that they are all done this way. It is excellent. Uh, it's It cuts forever. It's very tough. No uh, corrosion issues whatsoever. Uh, just absolutely love this knife. It's so simple, but it's so ergonomic. It swells back here. Uh, you got tons of grip due to this FRN and how they do this like diamond pattern through it. Uh, just, you got some jimping there, here. Uh, just so, so comfortable. You got like a mini thumb ramp there. Just absolutely love this for a work knife. And I also got this for like a hundred bucks a couple years ago on sale. So it was a deal that I, I couldn't pass up. Benchmade S30V. Uh, so I figured, hey, that is definitely a winner in my book. So we have the bug out, the Osborne, 
and the full size drop point griptilian there. We got two left. Why don't we go, we'll just go smallest to biggest because that's pretty much how it's rolling. So we have the Benchmade Super Freak. Uh, most of these knives have all been on the channel at some point in time or another. I'll try to link some of the videos that have been up covering these knives. I'll definitely link my story video if you would like to sit down and watch and listen to that. But uh, this is one of my all-time favorite knives just to use and carry. It's uh, a great, great size. It's got M4, which is another one of my favorite steels. You can see it's quite a bit bigger than the bug out is. And it's a little more beefier as well. Just a little wider of a profile, a little thicker. And, you know, this is meant to be more of a harder use knife where the bug out is meant for a lightweight knife, like a backpack, backpacking knife, EDC knife, that genre. This is meant more for like work and EDC. Uh, the M4 is just phenomenal it's another one of my all-time favorite steels uh and it, that wasn't always the case but i really really like m4 especially when it's coated like this uh you basically have no it takes the corrosion issues pretty much out of the equation uh unless you're doing some crazy stuff with it but uh no issues whatsoever with this coating. It has held up extremely well. Uh, no issues whatsoever. The action on it is this one needed some breaking in, but once it broke in, it uh, it's ridiculous. No wiggle, and this bad boy just wants to go home. No problem. Uh, it thwacks out of there. I love the the size of it. It's just. It's very, very appealing to me in its size. And so is the Griptilian. But the Griptilian is just a smidge smaller in handle and blade. Not much. Uh, but this is like right in my wheelhouse as far as size goes. You have that nice beefy handle, hand filling. Uh, very comfortable as well. I love the red anodized... Uh, standoffs back there and the liners just very very appealing the the g10 looks great uh another home run from benchmade i wish they would put out knives like these now uh and they aren't and they're way overpriced in my opinion uh so i will stick with the ones i have and i doubt i'll be getting any new ones anytime soon uh, this one though if you're looking for a bench made or an American made knife uh, that you can pretty much do anything with the super freak is definitely one to look at and it looks very good while doing it so last one up you ready the Benchmade Adamus, the full size baby with that crew wear blade. This is my tactical knife. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, it definitely could be. Uh, definitely built for it. Uh, this thing is just, if you've ever held a full size Adamus, you'll know what I'm saying. Uh, if you haven't, Boy, do you got to check one out. At least get one in hand. Uh, it is a very, very big knife. Uh, the Super Freak is close in the handle. Not, It's not quite there. Uh, and I don't know. It is a little. The Adamus is a little thicker also than the Super Freak is. Very, very structurally sound. I've thought about getting some new scales and a new clip for this uh i just never gotten around to it i just the way this knife sits 
it the only thing that i didn't like about this was how long i needed to break this thing in it took me weeks and weeks to break this thing in and it still could probably use a little more breaking in uh but it, it's very very good especially for a massive blade on that crossbar lock just absolutely love the bench made adamas this is the knife that sent me into the crew wear steel phase now i have a couple crew wear knives i don't have a bunch but i do have a couple and crew wear is also a great great steel it's kind of like d2 but on steroids and growth hormones basically uh very good steel it is coated uh crew air is not it, it it can have some corrosion issues but this is coated so no issues there and i've used this pretty uh healthily and no issues with the coating and that's one thing i always go back to guys the coating nowadays is just insanely well done uh I've literally ran cheaper knives uh, that are coated along like staples or nails, like the actual finish part, and it didn't even it didn't even budge. It didn't even bother it. So really well done coatings that are you know done properly all the way through. You're gonna have a hard time getting through them and actually getting to you know, the steel where it's going to cause an issue. In my opinion, it's doable for sure, but you're going to have a hard time doing it. This is definitely a brute. Uh, I forget what the size is. It's definitely over eight. I'm pretty sure anyway. Yeah, it's coming down almost to nine. It's like eight and seven eighths for the total so this is a big boy and i've had no problem taking this to work with me i've had no problem edcing it even in the summer i don't care i will carry this bad boy in my gym shorts i will carry it in my sweatpants do not care i'll carry my ad10 in gym shorts for all i care uh, the weight and the size does not bother me. As long as I like the knife, I'm going to carry it whenever I feel like carrying it. Uh, and this one is not that heavy for as big as it is. And absolutely a home run line of knives here. These are kind of all... This is the newest version out of the bunch, I think. But these are all kind of older knives out of their newer lineups you know none of these are out of the new lineups these are kind of throwback bench maids in a sense uh so that is all for the bench made collection it is a smaller collection but uh one that i'm very proud of i love each one of these knives uh, S90, S90, S30, M4, Crewware. You have a, a plethora of steels here that are all phenomenal. And, you know, this is more of a work knife, but these could be used as gentlemen's knives, EDC knives, uh, EDC and work. This can pretty much do anything you ask it to do. Uh, but uh, that will do it for the Benchmade collection, guys, and the knife that started all of this. So say thank you to the Benchmade bug out in S90V. That'll do it, guys. If you hung out through the whole video, thank you. I love y'all. Hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. And if you're still here and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, guys, I will catch you later. Peace.